What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic here with Majestex. So every time I have people over my house and they come down my basement, I get a bunch of questions about my projection setup for my home theater. So today I wanna to talk about projectors and why you might wanna consider one over a TV, so stay tuned. Now, funny story, actually about two years ago, I posted a video comparing two short throw projectors. And that video actually got enough views to inspire me to start this YouTube channel a year later. Now, I've helped enough people set up projectors in their house that I figured it might be helpful to make a video about it. Now, it is important to consider that projectors and TVs serve two different purposes and there are pros and cons to both. Now, for some reason, people tend to think that projectors are really expensive. But in most cases, a good budget projector is actually gonna cost you less than a large TV. And right now the projector that I use in my basement cost me just under 900 bucks when I bought it two years ago. Now, as you know, a projector is gonna require you to have some type of a screen or a surface for you to display an image. Now there's a bunch of different ways that you can go about doing this, but what I ended up doing was building my own screen. So I just took a bunch of wood, made a frame out of it, and I bought some Carl's Flexi White screen material. I stretched it over the frame and stapled it, and then I put like felt tape around it. It was really simple to do, and I'll actually link some of those materials that I bought in the description of this video so you can check them out if you're interested. So I've got a 140 inch 16 by nine screen that cost me just over a hundred bucks to build. Now there are a few different screen types. If you're not handy, you can actually buy a fixed frame screen if you want to. You've got pull down screens and then you can actually just paint the wall. If you've got a blank wall in your basement drywall, you can paint that with some good paint and you'll be just fine with that as well. Now of those options, a fixed frame is pretty much gonna give you the best picture quality for the most part. But if you don't have the money, painting a wall does work really well. Now, considering that a projector is using light from a bulb, it's not gonna be as bright as a TV. So they typically work better in like a basement or a dedicated theater room somewhere where you can easily control the light. Now, if you really do wanna put it into a bright room, there are ways that you can combat that. You can make the screen a little bit smaller uh, just because the bigger the screen is, the darker the picture is gonna be. So that's gonna help you fight light when you make the picture a little smaller. You can also get different types of screen material that'll actually reject the light or you can get different types of paints if you're putting it on a wall that'll help it with that as well. Now, another thing that you need to consider is throw distance and throw is basically how far the projector is from the wall or from the screen. So the average projector needs to be several feet away from your screen in order to project a large image. So let's say for instance you want to do 120 inch screen, most projectors are probably going to need to be about 13 or 14 feet away in order to get that size picture. So that is something you may want to consider if you're thinking about putting a projector in a small space, you definitely want to consider throw. Now, if you really don't have the space, you can buy what's called a short throw projector, which is what I actually bought. And that allows you to put the projector way closer to the screen. Some of them actually can be sit right in front of the screen. Some of them you can sit a few feet away. In my case, I have a 140 inch screen and it's sitting about nine and a half feet away. So a short throw projector is going to allow you to project a really large image from a shorter distance. Now, short throw projectors do cost a little bit more and the image quality does suffer a little bit comparing it to a non short throw projector, but it's not really enough for most people to notice. Another thing I want to mention about projectors is lamp or bulb light. So I've always heard that the lamps burn out and are really expensive to replace, which means it's not worth getting a projector. That's not really true anymore in the case of budget projectors. First, we need to consider that you're going to get an average of about 4,000 hours out of the lamp, which is a considerable amount of time for the projector to be on. Now, if you do go beyond that and the lamp does burn out, it's only going to cost you around a hundred dollars to replace the bulb on a budget projector so that's not really bad at all now tvs are great for just about any space but when you want something really large and you're comparing them to a projector it can get really really expensive so a really cheap 70 inch tv is going to cost you maybe around a thousand bucks a good 70 inch TV is gonna cost you 1800. And once you start to get into 80 or 85 inch TVs, you're well on to four or five, six thousand dollars or more. Now to be fair, TVs do have a lot of benefits over projectors. The first thing is that they're really, really bright. So you really don't have to worry about putting it in a bright room because it's bright enough that it's gonna overpower whatever light you have in the room. Another thing about TVs is that most of them are smart now. They have smart features built into them. That's not something you're normally gonna find on a projector. So in order to get smart features on a projector, you'd have to hook up something like a Roku, Chromecast, or a Fire TV or something like that. 
Another thing to consider is 4K and HDR. Now there are 4K HDR projectors out there, but if you're the average person and you're really, really interested in 4K HDR, you might wanna consider a TV over a projector unless you're willing to pay at least $10,000. Now after hearing that, I'm sure you're probably thinking, why would anybody buy a projector over a TV after hearing all the benefits of a TV? Well, there are two reasons you might wanna consider a projector. Reason number one is wow factor. So there's nothing like walking into a room and seeing a huge screen with a nice picture on it. Now let's consider that the average movie theater is gonna use a 2K projector, which is very close to just a 1080p projector. Now, depending on where you're sitting in that movie theater, you could actually have a better experience at home sitting in front of a 120 inch screen 10 feet away. So if you're sitting way back in a movie theater, then yes, that's gonna be a really sharp picture to you because you're not right up and you can't really see the pixels. But if you're sitting on the first few rows, you're definitely gonna notice a drastic difference in picture quality. This means you can take a 1080p projector, put it in your basement, and you can actually get sharper images than you get at the movies. So long story short, most people would be more impressed walking into a home theater with a huge screen in it with a $1,000 projector than they would with an 80-inch $8,000 TV. Reason number two is that it's more immersive. Trust me when I I tell you that having a huge 1080p screen versus having a smaller 4K screen can definitely be a much better experience. I mean, how would you feel if you walked into a movie theater and they had an 80 inch screen on the wall instead of a 50 foot screen? That's the major difference between a projector and a TV. Now that's not to say that you can't get a 4K projector. I mean, if you wanna spend the money, you definitely can get one, but the technology is moving so fast that I personally don't think it's worth getting right now. So we've just gone over a bunch of pros and cons for TVs and projectors. Now I'm not trying to tell you that projectors are better than TVs. I'm just laying out the facts. I actually just bought a 65 inch HDR TV and I love it. If I'm watching certain things like sports or if I wanna just watch a quick movie upstairs, I have no problem doing that in my living room. But if I wanna really experience a movie, I'm gonna go downstairs in my basement and watch it on a 140 inch screen. So now that we've talked all about video, we're definitely not gonna stop there. Another thing I want you to consider is that the visual experience is only half the battle. The other half is gonna be audio. So once you get that projector up, the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is upgrade your audio if you don't have a decent audio setup. Because trust me, once you set up that big screen, if you have small sound coming out of it, it's gonna ruin your experience. Now I have a 9.2 channel home theater set up in my basement. You don't necessarily have to do a 9.2 setup, but definitely try to do at least a 5.1 if you can. If you wanna get a sound bar, that's fine. Just make sure that you have decent audio because when you have a larger screen, if you have smaller sound, it's gonna make the screen feel smaller than it actually is. So if you were interested in projectors, I'm really hoping this video helped you, but I did wanna clear up some questions and some common misconceptions about projectors and just compare them to TVs to help you out if you're thinking about it. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. As always, if you like this video, mash that like button for me. Go ahead and post your comments and your questions in the comment sections. I'll respond to your comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.